This is in the higher echelons, for sure. Mats, mats, mats. It's the location of coronations of past Serbian kings. Pozdrav. <laughs> that dog doing anyway hello everyone and welcome to a rather gray and overcast saturday morning in the central serbian city of kraljevo this is part number 11 of my 2022 serbia series it's already over halfway through i can't believe i'm saying that it's gone so quickly last time we were in the legendary spa town of vrenička banja which isn't too far away from kraljevo or king's town in english or royal city something like that Anyway, today I've got a city to explore, I've got a church to see, and I'm also planning to film the next three videos here. So I better get going. There's the dog. Excuse the screaming children in the background. I've walked from the bus station past one of my favorite 60s, 70s style concrete nightmare buildings, love them, into this central circle. Remember that from Požega? Kraljevo has one as well. And we have this monument in the middle concerning World War One. 1918 up there and I believe it was completed in the early 30s 32 oh it says 34 up there okay lovely oh hello angels you're making a mess never work with children or animals unless they're cats although Serby dogs are quite nice actually aren't they right I've taken my jacket off because it's surprisingly warm it's the first of October what's going on Indian summer or as they say in Russian golden autumn anyway um this central circle, just like the one in Požega, I believe it's got a similar story behind it in terms of Miloš Obrenovic had like this sandbox thing and he literally drew with his fingers what he wanted it to look like. I could be talking shit. Um, so here we are. <laughs> Another central circular square. Železničar Kraljevo. Brilliant. Right, the jacket might have to go back on because it started raining, brilliant. Um, let's go to our next spot. Hello, um, there's a bakery here, all the usuals, burek, pizza. Also, I just want to let you know that I'm addicted to Serbian bread at the moment. It's bloody brilliant. Let's have some food later. Right, later has become now. Hello, um, I've got a double crompier. Let's have a look. Pastry, potato, crompier, and it looks like, I don't know, it's got some sort of flavouring or something. There are maybe spinach or something in it, I don't know. Let's find out. Ginormous. Right. Mmm. It's almost like a mild curry flavour. Let's do that again with my mouth empty. It's almost like a mild curry flavour, if you know what I mean. This is your average Serbian bakery. They're bloody brilliant. Looks like our dog friend is also hungry. It's all very nice in terms of the design and everything, isn't it? You've got donuts, pastries, pizza rorica, I mean pizza rorica, which is my favourite from Maxi. That was nice, wasn't it? And as you can see, I'm washing it down with some Moya Gravica. Not an ad, not a spawn. I just bloody love it. What's your favourite flavour? That was a mouthful. Um, I'm a basic bitch. I like chocolate. I've had kicks. I've had the caramel one, vanilla. They're all a bit too sweet for me, to be honest. Chocolate is the best. All right, let's move on. Right, I'm full of nicotine. And chocolate milkshake. Let's go, bro. As always, there's a lot of street art in Kraljevo and also Zastavas. Lovely. There's interesting street art up there. Kraljevo Grad. And someone in a royal blue outfit. Astra. Ad Astra to the stars. I know that says stop something, but I can read the letters, but I don't know what the words are. Is it like a ballot box or something? Is it something to do with voting? Oh, haven't seen him for a while. It's Nikola Tesla. There was something to do with physics and mathematics here in the past. That's because this is like a mathematics faculty thing. I think there's a church up there that we need to go to. Well, we don't need to, but you know what I mean.
This is the Holy Trinity Church, built in 1819 under the rule of Mr. Obredovich. But you know me, I prefer that building over there. <laughs> you can take the David out of Belgrade, but you can't take Belgrade out of David. I thought it was closed, but it was just the other gate that was locked. Oh, very nice. Got a little gift shop thing there, as you would quite often find outside churches in Serbia. Little water fountain over there. One thing I love about these churches is quite often these small little archway doors, you know. Well, I'm five foot ten, but if you were like over six foot, you'd probably hit your head. It's quite small. From outside, it looks like it'll be bigger. I guess there's the bit behind there, of course. Look, there's my name. Did they see me coming? Is this like a school or something? Um, not a residential building, because it kind of looks a bit like that inside. Especially with those big, big, big windows up there. I always find churches in Serbia to be quite understated, but in a good way. Unlike, perhaps, a grand and exquisite Catholic church or cathedral. These Kraljevo dogs are becoming minor characters in this video. The old man just identified that there is a little kitten in the tree. Meow! <laughs> uh, excuse me, it is not appropriate to chase fluffy angels. Stupid dog. <laughs> it's okay, angel. Mats, mats, mats. There we go. Angel, now's your chance. <laughs> the cat has been saved. I thought I'd let you know. Mats, mats, mats. I heard an old lady doing that. See, it is real. <laughs> Hello. Right, that's enough hilarious antics of cats and dogs for one day. As you can see, World War Two. I'm in. A Spomanik park at this rather impressive Spomanik. You know, a lot of them we've seen in previous videos are these huge geometric shapes, if you like, but some of them are actual people, you know. So there's another one over the train bridge, I believe. We'll go over there in a second, but I want to say about a website I use occasionally is this Spomanik database thing. It's amazing. You probably know about it already if you are a Spomanik geek, but it gives you every bit of information you could ever possibly want to know about Spomaniks everywhere. And I was reading on one recently about the fact that these Spomaniks were much more kind of celebrated during the times of the former Yugoslavia. I'm not sure if that's true. Maybe that's why a lot of them have graffiti on this one doesn't, but you know, a lot of them do. Um, and it's clear that, you know, some of them in some places I've been are being looked after now whereas perhaps during the 80s, 90s, maybe they weren't. Right, we're heading over this railway bridge. There's a rusty old train over there. Brilliant. Um, I was just talking to this old man in about 17 broken languages. He was telling me, he used the word groble, that's cemetery, but I think what he was referring to was like, that it's a memorial as per most Spominics. We'll have a look at that train after it's down there. Never mind this Spominic. Look at that. That is just my kind of thing. Right on my street. It better not be a crack den. Well, I guess the old man was right. Cemetery of Executed once again, 1941. It appears, as we've learned from previous videos, that many massacres, executions did take place in 1941 in relation to the Nazis and partisans. Can we get in? That's the other question. Yes, we can. Once again, I'd use the word understated. Is that the theme of this video? I don't know, but, you know, maybe they don't all need to be these uh, ginormous triangles. Right, the old man has followed me for some reason. I don't know what that's about. He was talking about drugs. Not today, mate. Was this some sort of like amphitheatre thing? This is brand new. Why is he following me? Am I gonna have to kill him? Are we sitting down now? Maybe that's a good sign. There's a Yugo. And this building here with the cross on the top. I'm slightly perturbed by the crazy old man watching me. Well, I was going to go down that way because there was this like grain tower thing up there, I think it was. But it seemed a bit sketchy, to be honest. And then you've got the crazy old man. Oh, he's going back over the bridge now, thank God. And I'm at the uh, train station. That's the train I often get. Red, Vojny, whatever. 
Yeah, it's always definitely a bit sketchy around train stations, isn't it? On that note, let's go into this burnt out hell hole, rusty train. Is it safe? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, brilliant. Look at it. What a hole. If that old man is in here, ready to jump out and gut me with a rusty fish hook, I will not be impressed. There's no one living in here. I wonder how old this is. Jesus in heaven. It's like, uh, what's that wood thingy? Uh, I can't think of the name of it. That's what the walls are made of. All right, let's go to somewhere a bit more attractive. Oh, there it is. Can you see it in the distance? I don't know what that is. Right, I seem to have evaded the potential geriatric drug dealer serial killer man. And now it's time to walk five kilometers to Zicha Monastery, the site of coronation of seven past Serbian kings. There's a sentence I've never said before. Let's go. Oh, that was a quick five kilometers. Although to be honest, I think it's just the sign. It's not the actual monastery. Yes, I was correct. I'm about halfway there, but still it's not too bad. I do a lot of walking, didn't I? I was just thinking, back in the day I was like, five kilometers, that's like running a marathon. Nowadays I'm like, five kilometers. That's like popping down the shops for a packet of hot dog Clipsy and some Neljepsche Gelier. I love that one. It's like a tour of Maxi today. We had the milkshake earlier. Now we have my favorite chocolate. We also have greenery and countryside. Oh, all right, shut up, David, let's go. Right, a further 2.5 kilometers down the road and I appear to be here, up there. I must fell over then. Look, Zicha Manastir. What's this? Please use main entrance. Except the main entrance is covered in rubble. Well, I'm coming this way anyway, because I assume that that's why it's open. Yeah, there's some workmen there. Clearly there's work being done on it. It seems to be a rather large complex. Much bigger than I expected. But I guess in a way it is like the one monastery you have to visit in Serbia. Like, you know, I kind of equate it to going to wherever the Queen, Queen Elizabeth was crowned. Westminster Abbey, wasn't it? I should probably know these things being English, but whatever. Yeah, like I said, seven Serbian kings were crowned here. Right, we've got to go up there. Oh good, there are other people. It means I'm not trespassing. Hallelujah. Well, look at this. This is like another entrance, or maybe exit. But you would be forgiven for thinking that this was inside the monastery. You know, similar types of uh, artwork that we've seen before, paintwork, but outside. With these rather grand, almost like medieval castle looking doors. I just came around the side and saw this, and I thought to myself, non-blasphemy related curse word because look at it look at the blue on the top that is spectacular but that's not all because look in here as well there's like a bird at the top oh it's slightly echoey in here as well with a slightly rustic looking paintwork i'm assuming because of you know the age and look at that view through there. As I said, it's a really large complex. There are these other buildings here. To my right is that blue thing. I love that. That is amazing. That's quite possibly my favorite thing of the year so far. But then Zicha Monastery, when it comes to being top tier elite, this is in the higher echelons for sure. And according to my research, as well as the monastery, the building that I just highlighted, which is just this tower, there's also the Coronation Church, dating back to 1210. This might be it, I'm assuming it is. Um, but this is all that's remaining of the Coronation Church where the Archbishop would crown the King. Stunning. 
Mas, mas, mas. Hello. <laughs> See, mats, mats, mats works. Especially with monastery angels. There's always a cat at monasteries. Why is that? Apparently there are seven entrances to the monastery. Seven kings, seven entrances. I'm sure that's just coincidental rather than intentional. Let's go around the front one, actually. Someone's getting married. What a place to get married. Bodrav. <laughs> so I've been in, um, as you can see on the door there, no filming, so um, I had to be a bit discreet, you know. Um, but I forgot to check out the entrance. And actually, this is kind of similar as to what inside looks like in many ways. Wow, look at that on the wall, the text. Of course, this is where people come to light a candle. And the heat and the smell of the wax is quite overwhelming, actually. Oh, tour group alert. Hi, Hans. So, Zhicha Monastery, behind me, has been amazing. There are other buildings over there as well, which I should probably be exploring, but I wanted to tell you about inside. Honestly, it's not incredibly different to other monasteries we've seen elsewhere in Serbia, such as of Jadabanya and all the ones there and other places we've been as well. But it definitely comes with that extra level of wow factor, doesn't it? Because it's the location of coronations of past Serbian kings. It's where they were crowned. Like, this is the one you should come to. And inside the paintwork, like, same as we've seen elsewhere, but it was kind of, interesting like it's on like two layers almost it's almost like it's being renovated or something or it's been maybe it was in bad condition and it's currently in the process of being redone i don't know but like i said with that blue thing it's kind of that rustic feel due to the fact that it is very old you know and there's a fountain here as well um, i think it's a bit shit <laughs> And also, as we've seen elsewhere, in the middle, as you get in there, it's got this gold circular thing with the hanging light, the chandelier type thing. Apologies if I'm using the wrong terminology. I'm not a monastery expert, but you know what I mean. And that does look very apt. You know, it's very regal. It's gold. It's circular. It's like a crown. Corona, you know. Why are there fireworks going off? Wedding, probably. <laughs> Oh, it's a church on the way out. Is it new? It looks like it's in the process of being built. I met a sister on the way out because turns out I entered through the sister's entrance. Sorry. And she's from Ujitse. Right, shall I get the bus or shall I walk? Ah, uh, the sun. Anyway, as I said earlier, this is only the first part of possibly three videos from Kraljevo. The next one I'm filming in my timeline. In a few hours, it's a nighttime 4K walk around video. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to Maglich, hopefully. I have heard there are renovations or something, but we'll see. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this one. Zicha, top tier elite, up the top. Echelon, brilliant. Um, I'll see you next time. Oh, I think that's the bus, brilliant.